somebody give me a topic. I'm going to make a video right now. I'm going to make a separate video um, on this. And so who has a topic, a simple topic or something they'd like me to do a two minute video on? I'm going to do this spontaneously just to show you how easy it can be. Trying to find someone who wants to sell a house. Say that again, Sean. Uh, say that again, Sean. Uh, trying to locate somebody that wants to sell a house and get them to contact. Locate a buy. Uh, would you say locate a buyer or a tenant buyer? A seller. A, a seller. Locate, locate a seller. Okay. Who else? Give me some other topics you'd like, and I'll pick one of them. Somebody, somebody who's in free, pre foreclosure that need help badly. Help in foreclosures. What else? Getting an expired listing in a snooty neighborhood. Expired. <laughs> I like that title. Expired listing in snooty. How do you spell snooty? I don't even know how to spell that. S N O T O O T Y snooty neighborhood. What else? Give me one more. Give me one or two more. Unmute yourself People and give me a topic. Alex Wojcik in Denver. Um, somebody who wants to learn real estate from you. Um, like a self-promotion type thing. Yeah, sure. Or like joining your team or going out and being a deal finder for you. I like that one too. How to learn, re how to learn real estate. How to train your goldfish. How to train your goldfish. Let's I find your solution today. To swim? Yeah, try to train your goldfish <laughs> to swim. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find your solution today. Enroll your goldfish at the YMCA. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? One more and then we're going to get going here. Time's speeding away. Let's get your solution today. Let's get a solution today. Your solution today. Put it in a sentence for me, Edith. Let's get your solution today. Let's get your solution today. Okay, we got a whole, locate a seller, help in foreclosure, expired listings and snooting neighborhoods, how to learn real estate, how to train your goldfish to swim. Let's get, let's, how to, let's get your solution today. Which one should I pick? You guys pick, somebody pick, here, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give, who didn't speak? Bailey, pick one of those for me. Unmute yourself. So Billy's sorry. Out. There you go. Um, I, I, I missed those plotos. It's okay. Locate a seller, help in foreclosures, expired listings in snooty neighborhoods, how to learn real estate. I like that. How to train your goldfish to swim. Let's get your solutions today. Expired listings in snooty neighborhoods. Expired listings in snooty neighborhoods. Thank you. I didn't want to, I didn't want, I wanted somebody else to pick it for obvious reasons. Okay. <laughs> so now I'm going to, um, let's see here. I'm going to share my screen here. Um, usually I do my recordings. What device do you use for your recordings? I like Zoom, but since I'm on Zoom, the quality of Zoom, the audio and video, I don't know how they do it. They're superb. And you can do your own different green screens and things like that. They give you choices. Uh, Zoom is phenomenal for recording short videos. And they actually put it in MP, uh, help me out you technical people. I think it's called MP3 for video. MP4. Or M MV4, thank you, Sean. And they also do an audio in what format, Sean? MP3? Um, Probably. Yeah, MP3, MP3 should, should have MP3 okay, encoding. Perfect. And, and the beautiful thing is these are formats that uh, Windows people, Mac people, everybody can open. Um, so, it, so if you want to use it later to email people or something like that, it's really good. And they're very easy to upload to YouTube. Uh, YouTube can be a little picky on some of the other formats. So I normally use uh, Zoom. Um, if I can't do Zoom, um, I'll use Quicken. Everybody, uh, um, Quick, no, QuickTime, excuse me. QuickTime, everybody has it, Windows or Mac. Everybody has QuickTime. It's a wonderful, simple, free piece of software. Um, if I'm on a Mac right now, I'm going to hit my share screen. I'm going to utilize. Uh, I'm going to utilize. Um, I'm going to use something called Photo Booth, just to make a quick video. If it'll work. There it is. 
And let me know if you can see my screen. Can you guys see my screen? No. Yes. Okay, yes. good. Oh, you did change it. Okay. Okay, good. I'm going to make, and our topic is expired listings in, in, uh, in snooty neighborhoods. In three, two, one. Hi, everybody. Claude. Hi, everybody. Claude Diamond. One of my students asked me a problem that he's having. How do you get expired? He's a real estate agent. How do you get expired listings in snooty neighborhoods? What do we mean by snooty neighborhoods? We mean high income uh, neighborhoods, neighborhoods where uh, people, millionaires, basically. And if you're a real estate agent who maybe lives in a different area, in a middle class, upper middle class area, you might be faced with that problem. So how do you convince people? Well, the number one thing is empathy. Ask yourself this one question. What is it those people want? Regardless of where you live, what kind of car you drive, what your income status is or anything else, what, are those, what does that customer want? Don't argue about uh, all the things that you live here and there. Argue about the results you're going to get. Ask yourself this one question. What do they want? They want to sell their home fast. They want someone who's going to be accountable, who's going to return phone calls, who, does, who uses modern contemporary social media marketing. Impre impress them with your ability to use drones, to use online YouTube videos and marketing. Impress them with the results you get. Use testimonials. Sell yourself with the results that they expect and ask a lot of questions. They want to see, tell them, listen, so imagine for a moment. Now you're not guaranteeing it. Just say, imagine for a moment, I could sell your home, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect in your snooty neighborhood and get you the price you want in the next 30 days or less. I answer my own phone, I get back to you, I'll keep you in the loop, I'll show you how to get the results you want if that's what you're looking for. But if you're going to prejudge me because I live in a different neighborhood, maybe it's over before, before we can do business. Would you like results? Yes or no? Boom. Talk to them just like that. Be positive. Don't be defensive. Don't be subservient or submissive. Just because they have more money than you doesn't mean they're better than you. This is a takeaway moment, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you're giving them the value you want. Anticipate the questions, what's going through their mind. What would you want if you're in a $5 million home? What kind of realtor do, would you like to work with? Someone who uh, exemplifies honesty, integrity, veracity, contemporary marketing, and gets results done with long-term accountability. If this is something you want to learn how to do today, please call me. I answer my own phone, 970-281-5151. Thank you so much for joining me. You know what I always say at the end of one of my videos here, nobody deserves success more than you. If you have a question, please feel free to email me or text me and go to my webpage. I have a free book there, and you can also schedule a free 50 15-minute consultation, totally free. Thank you. That was absolutely fantastic. Okay. I thought it, I thought it, I thought it sucked. You needed to work on your script better. Oh, I didn't have a script. You <laughs> <laughs> didn't give you a number. You didn't give you a number. So here we go. Can you still see my screen? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. You, take, you take the video you just did. That was two minutes and 42 seconds. That's not bad, Hi, is it? Everybody. Claude Diamond, one of Whoops. Students Shut up, here. Claude. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I, drag, I drag it on my screen here. Okay. Screen sharing has stopped. That's, so that's, and that's called photo booth. Real easy to do. Not the same quality as Zoom, but it works. So write down, first thing you want to do is decide on a topic. Okay, write down and do an outline. Uh, take a piece, I'm famous for my little post-its and scraps and things. I, do, do you guys do this too? You have this stuff all over your desk? That's when I get an idea. During the day, do you guys ever get ideas? Of course you do. Make sure you write them down. Have, have paper, pencil, have it ready or text it to you. Uh, how many people, when you get an idea, you text it to yourself? or put it in your, uh, 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 Apple on their iPhone has a thing called reminders, uh, which I use a lot. Okay, so make sure you save that idea. Then when you get home, write a quick little outline, just scribble something down and speak spontaneously. Just, just relax, knock it out. Even if you make a mistake and you stumble on yourself or something, laugh at yourself. People love, on do you think people love honesty? Do you think you get a lot of integrity? From P, uh, uh, do you think you get a, what's the wrong word? 
do you think you get a lot of respect from people when they see it's an honest video? It's not fancy. You're not, you're not having screaming comments in the background and everything, but you're just sharing honest information, good or bad, telling a story. Don't you think people like that sometimes? That's, that's what your videos are good for. They, you're, you're right off the cuff. You're not speaking on a script. You're speaking to them like you're in the same room sitting at having a cup of coffee at a table, you know? Exactly. Make it um, spontaneous, relax. Don't be so self-conscious about it. They want your information. It doesn't have to be perfect. Leave in the boo-boos and the mistakes and stuff like that, unless you use cur unless you curse, because YouTube now, uh, they'll ask you, I'll show you in a minute, uh, they ask you if it's okay for kids and stuff like that. And if you use expletive deletives, um, uh, then they diminish the ability for you to monetize of that video. Um, and sometimes they restrict the audience also. You want this to go all over the place. You get the right application for recording. Make sure you record it KISS method, just like I did right now. Get, and if you get in the habit of doing this, I spend 30 minutes minimum every day doing 